so it's the next morning. It was raining all night long and uh, the visibility is just, I don't know, maybe a hundred meters or 150 meters and uh, our plans for today are still undefined because they depend on weather and on other things. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, coffee always cheers up, and it's getting sunnier. We'll spend the next night at the same place at Tomsk Bivouac. We are waiting for other part of the group. Here they are, arriving by the helicopter straight from Tungur village. And we're gonna have some training today. What I mean is the training of basic mountaineering skills on the nearest glacier. It's sunny, but at the same time, uh, it's snowing. And we are now preparing for our mountaineering training. So I've got my harness, my um, figure of eight, carabiners, and a sender. So we are doing here some basic mountaineering exercises. Well, like uh, walking in crampons, uh, self-arresting with ice axes. Then our guides established fixed ropes and we practiced some jumaring or jogging and rappelling. What I mean by jumaring is when you use your ascender or so-called jumar to ascend the rope. And rappelling is when you use your descender device, let's say a figure of eight or other descender to descend the rope. I know the figure of eight is considered as kind of old-fashioned descender these days. It definitely has some drawbacks, but we use that one for some specific reason. It's certainly much better to learn and practice all those things for a significant amount of time, maybe somewhere in other area beforehand. That training was really useful though, and we also learned some particularities of our further road. So our mountaineering training for today is over and um, this is, this is, yeah, that's Delone Plus. That's what we're going to climb tomorrow in the early morning, like at 6 or at 6.30 a.m. This one is the important key point on the entire route. There are six or maybe seven fixed ropes on the Delone Pass, so you have six or seven pitches. And if you have decent experience in alpinism, then that climbing would be like, uh, you know, the mediocre thing for you. But if you are a beginner, like I am, for example, then that mountain pass will impress you. Beautiful sunset today. morning the weather became awful and snowing quite heavily so maybe we will stay here one more day but we haven't decided yet we will wait for maybe an hour or more well at 8 a.m snow stopped and we started our way towards the Delonap bus So we are now heading towards the Lone Pass on this beautiful glacier which is called Watermelon. I don't know why. Well, my backpack is somewhere around 30 kilograms or maybe 
28 or so I think it's somewhere around 30 well that's my fault not fault actually but this is what I just wanted ah, the weather is nice but it can change rapidly I think within 15-20 minutes easily I think you can feel my excitement yeah that was so as you might guess my camera is mounted on the helmet and unfortunately it's tilted downwards too much by the way it's better to climb the Dolone Pass in the morning because as the snow starts melting the chance of rock falls grows <laughs> Может, по возможности дождаться народ, сказать, что здесь кошки одевались. Ладно? Я тебя понял, ладно. Может, я им прокричу, что... Ну что, пошел? Да. Так, я, значит, минут через 10-15 тоже двигаю. Да. There is a big bergschund or a crevasse. That's where you clip your ascender to the first fixed rope. So, I'm almost ready to go. Okay, I'm starting. is frozen well that's that's ex expected that's what I expected first rope okay so rope number four these are this one is actually long I think this is uh, 50 meters long because the second and the third one uh, ones they they were like 25 or maybe even a little bit shorter number six I think this is the last fixed rope and then there will be horizontal fixed rope who such a view oh. Let's go.
Uh, I'm finishing the last fixed row apart from horizontal one. Он уходит, сразу стыгнешь, идешь там. Все готовы, ребята. So we were waiting for other climbers enjoying clear and crisp weather and those fabulous views drinking brewed coffee with chocolate. <laughs> At some point I saw the halo around the sun. Looks interesting, but it could mean the weather worsening. Since it took us a lot of time to climb the Delamay Pass, we set up our camp right under it. Well, Um, there's one thing we can't live without, and you know, we built it. This is our architectural masterpiece. Honestly, we had plans, maybe even to start our summit push tonight straight from this point, but when twilight came in, the weather started to go bad. Чашечек нагородили нам дизайнеры. Do you remember that halo around the sun? It was snowing all night and the whole day, so we decided to stay put. Nobody likes days like that one because you either lie in a tent or just hang around. But when you have some coffee, your life is not that boring anymore. It was pretty cold night. Not only because it was cold outside, but also because my very ordinary sleeping pad is not thick enough for that temperature. <sighs> so it's crisp and cold. And today we are heading to the Burel Col, where the assault camp will be set up. We are now advancing on the Menso Glacier as a roped team. There are crevasses with different width, some of them are covered with snow. This glacier is different each year. Thankfully this time it wasn't like a labyrinth. 
We didn't need to jump over wide crevasses, we mostly stepped over quite narrow ones. We are now at the bottom of the huge valley basin. On a sunny windless day like this one, it might be freaking hot here, so you can walk in a t-shirt. So uh, we have set up the camp. This is actually the assault camp and it's uh, in place which is called the Berel Col. That's where our summit push will start. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Look at the view. This peak is very interesting. Actually you can climb it, climb it within 10 minutes. Since we had much snow on the previous day, a few guys after the short rest in the camp decided to walk farther, just to make the trail a bit more prominent and easy to walk on during the night summit push. During the rest in the camp I started feeling some kind of fever, but it was not a cold, and I joined those guys, my climbing comrades. Here's the picture of us that was taken from the camp by guys who were staying there. I'm very grateful for this stunning photograph. Здесь гораздо меньше выпало, да, на твой взгляд? Ну понятно. We stopped under this hillside. Looking on the amount of snow, we came to the conclusion that yesterday, here, at this altitude, it snowed way less than at our previous camp's altitude. And that means the avalanche hazard is low. This is, by the way, the crucial thing. The weather forecast for tonight and the next morning was pretty good in general, so we turned around and went to our camp thinking about the upcoming summit push. You know, that walk was so enjoyable. It wasn't that difficult, we acclimatized a bit, the weather was fantastic, my fever disappeared and the views. They are splendid, especially at sunset. That walk is what I was really, really happy with. So we are descending down to our camp and we're gonna go sleep as soon as possible. Because we probably have only 2-3 hours of sleeping before the summit push. <laughs> 